Hey guys, um, we went to Belfast, and I decided since I got a ton of art stuff, I'd do a little haul with it. I got a few other things, but I decided not to include it in this one, and um, this was in different packaging, but um, I didn't like the first version of this I did, so um, yeah. Um, first, at a children's toy store, I found this cute little watercolor set. Mainly, I wanted the tin. It's by Ebo, and it has a decent little range of colors. The brush actually doesn't look too bad. It's actually soft and flexible, so it looks like it should hold a good bit of water. And the side has a palette for you to use. And when you're done with this, you can just pop this out and use the tin however you want. I think it might be good for, like, storing watercolor pencils in. And, um, speaking of watercolor pencils, what's under this bag is, uh, the main source of my, uh, embarrassment. I got really excited when I walked into the store. It's the Fiddlehead Artisan Supply, and, um, there was so much stuff. I, I was just amazed, um. The first things I picked up, though they're not the first things in line, were this little Lee pen in lavender. Nothing special. I just really thought it was a cute color. So I can't wait to use it. And I also picked up some colored microns in .005. This one's pink, and this one's purple. I also picked up some Prismacolored colored pencils. I could have gotten a lot more, but I didn't want to pick ones that I knew I had. Or potentially had because um I have a decent little amount not a lot but a decent amount so I got the one in nectar and um deco peach then I'll start with the brushes I got some watercolor specific brushes. One's pretty tiny and these are by Royal and Langnickel. Um, this one's kind of like a medium small and this one's probably medium compared to some others but it's pretty large for what I have. And, um, I'm excited to use them. They have kind of like, it's not actually metal, but it's kind of like a shiny, almost metal looking barrel. And, yeah, I'm excited to use those. And I picked up two Van Gogh watercolors in... Let's see. Permanent blue violet and something rose. I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but it's Q U I N A C R I D O N E. And um I think they're pretty, so I'm excited to use those. I think a general theme for why I picked up was pink and purple. 
Um, I also got two um, Supra Color Soft Pencils. One in, what's the color? Salmon Pink and Apricot. I think they can kind of act as colored pencils and um, water color, from what I understood. And then I got some Durant watercolor pencils in sky blue, mineral green. Rose pink. I could have probably gotten all the pinks and everywhere, and I would have been happy. But I resisted. Um, light violet and um, red violet lake. And yeah, I went ham. I was so excited. I could have gotten even more if it wasn't for a fact. I was like, no. No, you need to, you need to resist. No, no. But oh, I was so excited. It was like, imagine, imagine a kid going into a candy store, and it was like that. I, I just, I was floored. The first sight was like a ton of fabric, but then you go off to art room, and it's like right on is like a Copic display. I didn't get any Copics obviously because um, I don't use markers a lot for one but for two I know I can get them pretty cheap on Michaels when they have a sale and I can have dis um, sales and coupon. Oops, sorry. There's days when those can get added together so it means you get a pretty good discount. Plus, um, Dick Blick has them pretty cheap, so I was like, uh, resist the Copics. You can, you can look and kind of be in awe, but resist a Copic. Resist it. So, yeah. Um, I hope you liked this little haul, and, um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!